Hello, my name is Ignatius Williams. I'm the Systems Administrator at the ECOWAS Coastal and Marine Resources Management Center in the University of Ghana. Um, I'll be taking you through a series of videos which is help, going to help um, explain most of the issues, how to install, import data and also to visualize uh, most of the data in the Emma 1.3.1 standalone version. With this part, I'm going to focus mainly on how to download the software and to successfully install it. First of all, the software can be found on the GRC FTP site. The host is quoted over here. This comes with, a, it's actually protected. So it comes with a username and a password, which can be found over here. You can access this FTP site via core FTP or using a FileZilla, that's any FTP client. Most often I prefer to use FileZilla. Also, you can do this in your web browser by just typing the path or the host over here, which I showed you in the previous slide, and it would bring up the username and the password. Or you can simply type this particular uh, expression over here, which has already the username and the password embedded in it. So it will take you directly to the file listing in that particular directory. And so this is how it looks like if you are able to successfully log into the GRC FTP site. So you're going to get a, an index or a directory listing of this nature. Of particular interest to us is to be able to retrieve the Emma standalone client. So we can actually find the Emma standalone client in eStation 1.0 and in that directory under Emma standalone. So this is the listing you're going to find very typical of it. And we have the Emma standalone as well as a readme file, which is going to help you to understand what is in there as well as some associated documents which you can download um, or as a package. Also, most importantly, we can't work with the software in isolation. You've got to have data that you're going to actually import and actually visualize in the standalone version. So the data can be found under eStation 1.0, under the subdirectory archives and standalone. So under standalone, then you can find um, archive data for Africa, like you have over here, as well as a time series that you can also download, which you can later import into your tool. So assuming we've been able to do that properly, um, we should have been able to collate all this information into a folder that we're going to use for this particular setup. So I'm going to quickly navigate into that folder that I have called um, Emma 1.3.1, where I've downloaded all the relevant material in there. So we're going to find, naturally, you're going to find um, Emma standalone 1.3.1, then there's a readme file over there. So because it says readme, it's very important that we do understand the instructions that we need to follow to be able to get um, everything running smoothly. It's very important that we always pay attention to the instructions. So to install or to update the Emma standalone version, there's a zip file with the file name Emma standalone underscore 1.3.1.zip. And also in that particular zip file, when you extract it, you should be able to find the installation instructions. And this is this file is named installation instructions dot doc it's a word documents file so any word documents um, any um, word processing software should be able to help you visualize the contents of that particular file okay so um, i've already pre-extracted um, this folder the ml standalone 1.3.1 so after extracting that folder these are the contents of that particular folder. So you always got to make sure, like I said earlier, to read the installation instructions.
okay so that's the readme file and that's the installation instruction so it actually comes in two parts the first one is how to run the installation itself and the second part is how to um, load the MR component or how to start the visualization package so first of all it's important that we check the integrity of our package that make sure that all the contents are there so you see a listing of all the package contents in there you just cross check and make sure that all those packages are all represented or are all in that particular directory that you just extracted okay i think everything is okay in there so how to do the installation is pretty simple so in windows xp or later all you have to do is just double click on the batch file that is install hyphen emma.bat and it should run smoothly but from windows vista windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 and windows 10 you'd actually have to right click and run as administrator for this to be able to run properly so the key word is to right click on the particular file the install hyphen emma that's the windows batch file over here and click on run as administrator as we're going to do right now but always before doing that i'd urge that most often people have reported challenges that whenever they run the emma standalone software with their internet connection being active it didn't really turn out as they expected something went wrong with the installation and all that so i'd advise that you turn your in, um, your internet connection off before you start with the installation so if you look here i'm currently not connected to any network be it wi-fi or um, um, an ethernet connection i'm not using any of those so i can safely just come and run as administrator it's going to give you this prompt you're going to allow it and say yes and then the installation is going to start with each point of the installation is going to tell you what um, phase of the installation is being run and so you know what particular process is happening right now be it the postgresql that's running or if it's installing the apache server or whatever be it and it does take um, a few minutes so you're going to have to be patient and go through the whole installation procedure till it's complete then you can proceed to the next steps but the key is to make sure that um, before you start the installation you turn off your internet connection it's really important that you do this to avoid any issues with your installation okay so that part is almost done um i could have paused this but i really want to take you through the whole process not cut it into bits and make sure you see every particular step of the way that happens in this particular particular installation for other bits i might cut off bits and portions of it but for the installation i think i'd need to run the camera the whole time so that you see what is going on and you can be able to follow it and do it um, appropriately okay so i think the first step was successful it would move on to the next couple of steps okay so it's done now it's installing the apache server and always i like this line that urian puts in there that this may take some minutes so please like i said earlier be patient and let it run do not close the command window as this operation is happening it would occur at several points whenever you're doing something be it importing a product archive or importing time series data into the emma client always be patient and do not close the command window till it's actually done then you can close it um throughout the installation there are going to be several pop-ups you also need to 
pay attention to some of these pop-ups especially um, because of the apache server um, depending on the type of antivirus or firewall that you have running it might create a rule that might be prompt you to allow the connection through um, because i've already done this installation before it didn't prompt me because that rule has already cre been created so it says i got a little error over here which says that the web service is already installed so it just started it so um in your case you might be prompted to allow the connection through the windows firewall or um, whatever um, virus protection or software that you have running so you please do that and allow the apache ms4 w web server through it okay so it's done it says the installation is complete so i just press any key to continue so hopefully everything went well so we'll go back to the installation instructions and the second part of this is to open the emma client so in order to do this we need to open it and make sure everything run successfully so to do this we open our web browser and you type in the address from here that says localhost a colon 8080 and slash emma so i think i'll do that in the google chrome and voila it was able to open so our installation was successful I'll just click on emma here just to verify that everything went according to plan and yes it did so um thank you for watching and this is the how to download and install the emma um that's the environmental environment mapping and monitoring for africa clients thank you